Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, uh, Unicorn Overlord. I almost said Tactics Ogre. Wow, it's been a while since we've even played that game. I don't know why that was in my head. Um, but anyway, off screen I set up some tactics and did just a little bit of extra stuff. We had a lot of people who hit level 30 and we did not optimize during the actual fight. So I didn't want to fall behind, especially since a lot of people are going to continually start hitting level 30. And um, I just wanted to keep up with um, their tactics. So let's see. On my list, uh, first up is Kitra. I removed her Pursuant Bracelet and her First Aid Kit. Basically, the First Aid Kit may have been coming in handy every once in a while, but uh, the Pursuant Bracelet wasn't even able to be used because we had too many abilities and we had to stop using it. So there's no reason for her to have that. So now she has the silver bangle and a golden egg instead, um, just to give her something. Um, and let's see, I think I did, let's see, what did we do? I think we may have changed her tactics, let's just go through it. We've got Row Smash, which she just learned, I believe. Is that one her level 30? Yes, Row Smash. So, Row with two plus combatants and armored, because it does uh, better against defensive units. Um, then we have Heavy Smash for armored. So if there isn't a row with two plus combatants, then we can just resort to heavy. And this one is one AP instead of two AP, so it can be a better use of our action points. Um, assaulting blow. Target HP is less than 50%. Target the lowest HP out of that group. Then, if you do have it, um, uh, two action points, then you can go for painful smash, um, which will probably only trigger if there's no armored and there's nobody who's already hurt. Um, at that point, painful smash if you have AP, um, will go against the highest percentage HP because it detects a single enemy and deals 25% of the target's HP and additional damage. Um, and its physical potency starts at 150, so it should be pretty good. Um, and then if anything is left over, then lowest HP is going to do it. So, with Assaulting Blow, with the chance of getting action points back again. Then we have Enrage. We have Binding Guard, only if armored enemies are present and heavy counter if you are attacked by armored. Okay. Um, let's see, Morard, we just changed his tactics. So he learned Grand Smash at level 30. So we start him out with Mounting Charge, restores 30% HP to the user and grants the user plus 30% physical attack. He's only gonna do this if he's actually hurting quite a bit. Own HP is less than 50%. Otherwise, he's going to resort to Grand Smash, which would take all of his AP, but he can attack all enemies at 50% potency if the user is at 100%. Um, since it's ground-based, uh, no flying enemy should be present, uh, but if four or more enemies and no flying are present, then he'll use Grand Smash. Uh, otherwise, he will resort to Icy Crush, which attacks a single, inflicts freeze, and um, this one will only happen if somebody's already frozen. Otherwise, he's probably just going to resort to a physical potency of 150 wide smash against the row with the most combatants, which I guess is just always going to be whatever the front row is. So that doesn't matter too much. Um, he's another one who the Pursuant Bracelet isn't being used on, so we should probably find him different gear, but it is what it is. Uh, Berserk activates before attacking with an active skill. It consumes all of the passive to grant one AP, and you can survive one lethal blow. So I'm basically trying to make this trigger only if um, his own passive is at one or less. So in other words, I don't want him to trigger this when he has two passive points because it will take both of those passive points in order to trigger. So we should always do it when he's down to one. So he'll use wide counter and bulk up before he uses Berserk to give himself one more action point. Um, okay. So, then we have Wide Counter, counterattack a row of enemies, bulk up, if he gets hit, he'll recover 40% HP. We're not going to use Pursuit right now because I feel like these other ones are more useful right now. So, we'll just go with that. Like, he has Wide Counter. What is Pursuit going to be used for? Uh, so, frankly, we do need to just change his stuff here. Maybe I should just give him something, especially since he's not going to use this. Uh, we need to find somebody to give this passive gift to. But for now, let's see. We're not running into a lot of fire or poison right now. You can take a blind cure. Why not? If anybody's blinded, you can help them out. Um, so there we go. And then we have Unifi, who we changed the tactics on. She learned Glacial Rain. So if four or more enemies are present, then she'll use Glacial Rain. Um, it hits three times at 60% potency and freezes. 
Uh, otherwise, Mystic Arrow if they're armored, because it has extra potency against armored. Sonic Shaft if they are flying. Um, and then if there are no flying, then Sonic Shaft will just hit the highest initiative because it does 100% of target's initiative and additional damage. Then we have Triple Counter, after an enemy attacks, counterattack three times, or Eagle Eye, which grants True Strike. Okay, uh, Ramona. She learned Extra Heal. All right, so here's her setup, which is kind of interesting. So Aurora Veil is at the top, grants HP regeneration to a row of allies, and grants targets plus 50% magic defense. So if there are casters on the field, then, then we'll um, target the HP regeneration and the 50% magic defense on the row with the most combatants. So in other words, it will basically give regeneration and magic defense to the row with the most people. Um... If there's a caster present, then we have night vision grants a row grants a row of allies 50% accuracy at night makes the targets next attack a true strike. So if it's nighttime, um, we want this to trigger more often. And once again, row with most combatants so that it maximizes the number of people that get the buff. Um, if neither of those apply, then we go to extra heal, moderate HP to an ally, HP regen and plus 30 initiative. This will only trigger if there's somebody that is below 75% HP. And then it will go after, if there are multiple people below 75, it'll go after the lowest initiative so that their initiative gets higher. Otherwise, we will resort to Aurora Veil once again, which will just grant a row of allies HP regen, which will, I think, be generally pretty useful. Um, in general, the front row is probably who, who should have that anyways, because um, a lot of units can't bypass the front row. There will probably be instances where we do need Aurora Veil, not to just trigger front row, but we can fix that as we as we see fit. Um, then for passives, we have Circle Barrier. Um, this will only trigger if the passives are at three or more. So um, that way there's always going to be one, uh, one passive point available still. Um, reduce damage taken by all allies by 25% for one attack. Uh, restore. Activates after an ally uses a passive skill, grants an ally plus one PP. So mostly this condition one here for Circle Barrier is to make sure that Restore is more likely to be triggered more often so that we can get another passive point um, to use for stuff. So that's the idea behind that. Then we have Quick Dispel. Um, after an enemy is buffed, remove all buffs from a single enemy. Okay. Then we have Virginia next. We already set them, those two up last time. So Virginia, she learned Brandish. So let's go through hers. Vertical Edge, if flying are present, she'll go after the lowest HP flyer. Iron Crusher, if armor are present, she'll go after the lowest HP armored. Otherwise, she can resort to Brandish, which hits three times. 150 potency if they all hit. It's unguardable. Attack a single enemy, ignores 50% of the target's defense, and grants the user plus one passive if the attack hits. Um... Since we get that passive only when it hits, targeting the lowest evasion would probably be pretty useful. Um, so yeah. And then we have Iron Crusher after that, if for whatever reason. Which, I don't, in this case, I don't think... She doesn't have anything that gives her action points back, so... Most of the time, if there aren't flying or armored, she's just going to use Brandish. Um, but it, I always just put these at the end, so... But Iron Veil. Activates at the start of battle, 50% guard rate, 30% physical defense to all allies, royal guard. Block an enemy attack with a medium guard, user recovers 25% HP, maiden's hammer, after an enemy attack with an active, counter attack. Okay. Now, Rosalinda, she has that elemental roar that she learned, but we didn't do anything with that because, well, frankly, neither of my elves right now... Uh, Eltalinda or Rosalinda have three action points. We need to do something about that. We need to get them more action points. Um, because right now we can't use Elemental Roar. So, it's not even on the list. Didn't change anything with her. Um, let's see. Athelion, you learned Mirage Stab. So, Nature's Wrath. Attack a column of enemies. Inflicts PP-1 to Cavalry. Full column with Cavalry enemies present. You can use Nature's Wrath. Otherwise, resort to Mirage Stab that will only work if there is a row with two plus combatants. Attack a row of enemies and grants the user the ability to evade one attack, which has a good synergy with evasive impetus. So, Lightning Blade. Attack a single enemy and inflict stun. 
Prioritize Armored, Lowest Magic Defense. Evade. Activates before being attacked, evade a single hit. So, Mirage Stab. Uh, between Evade here and Mirage Stab, which also grants an Evade for free. Kinda. Yeah. Um, evasive Impetus will be able to get us more action points. So, just keep that in mind. So, in essence, unless there's cavalry present that a f with a full column that can be attacked, then Mirage Stab will trigger against anybody 2 plus combatants, in which case you'd lose both of your AP, but the guaranteed evade means that you're always going to get one AP back, which means we'll always get a Lightning Blade in that case. So, um... Yeah, there, I think there's some good synergies here. We also have Remove Weakness and Sylphic Barrier that allows an ally to evade an attack. Okay, Eltalinda has the same problem. She doesn't have enough for Elemental Roar, so uh, we didn't change anything with her. Uh, we did change some things with uh, Dina, who learned Venom Thrust. So right now, uh, the Helix Spear, I think, is giving Penetrate. Yep. So Penetrate is at the top. Inflicts physical defense minus 30. So if there's a full column of armored who are generally going to have really high defense, she'll penetrate. If that isn't the case, then she'll venom thrust. A full column. And I put cast her enemies present on this one because... Um, it attacks a column of enemies with a piercing strike, inflicts poison, and debuffs target HP recovery by 50%. So there isn't like a healer. Casters count as healers and offensive casters, so I just had to do cast her enemies present. But if caster enemies are present, then there's a chance they might be healers, which means that if there's a full column that you, they can attack, then it can debuff their healing ability. Obviously, there are other non-casters that do healing stuff, but this is just something that I came up with that may be useful some of the time. So, Piercing Lance, um, attack a single enemy and inflicts Guard Seal um, against Armored. Uh, and then, otherwise, Passive Hold is probably going to be pretty useful most of the time, so... These ones are really restrictive, but passive hold, um, just going and removing their ability to use passive abilities on whoever has the most passive points, I think is going to be very, very useful with Dina. Okay, Weakness Hunter. Uh, after an enemy is debuffed, then we got Shadow Pursuit, Follow Up Attack, Inflicts Blindness, Nocturnal Evade. Um, evades are just useful, so I'm not going to restrict this to nighttime only, even though at nighttime it's going to be more effective by giving us more passive points. So at nighttime, she'll just be able to evade a lot more, so. In fact, you know, I should put... No, it doesn't matter. Because a lot of these are... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so there's Dina. Um, and that's it. Some other people are very, very close to hitting 30, so we'll be setting up more people soon. Uh, but that's where we're at. Okay. So... With that being the case, what do we want to do? We do want to do this. In fact, let's let's go ahead and just start with this. So, the battle for Sylvaquad. Let's see, I need to add that to my notes. These names, man. Alright, so it's a level 30. A fortified city of Sylvaquad has found itself occupied by the Rock Rat Bandits. The Liberation now sets forth to free the city from their grasp. Let's do it. After this, we might want to go to the... Colosseum again. I'm certain you remember, Your Highness, but I used to stand with the Rock Rats myself. Might I have a word with their captain before the battle? Well, if you wish, go ahead, Nina. Captain, wait, it's me. Well, been a while, Nina. Didn't realize you were rubbing shoulders with the Liberation. Well, I managed to reconnect with my sister as well, owing largely to you excusing me from the band. Now, please, Captain, run away or surrender, but don't try to fight us. You'll not win. Sorry, but that's not happening. We've been wandering these lands for as long as we can remember. Figured this might be a place we can actually put down some roots for once. And, damn it, that's what we're gonna do. But, Captain... Oh, and don't hold back on account of us, okay? It's time your friends learn what a cornered brat can do. Okay. So, going from the other side, we actually would have been closer to them, it looks like. That's interesting. Um, can we deploy from both ends? 
No, we cannot. Oh, interesting. Look at that. There's no way for us to even get that to that without a flyer. So, okay. One of our groups might. Um, let's see what can what this group can do. Order must be preserved. Them. Allow me. All right. It's not great. It shall be done. All right. I rise to any challenge. The enemy has spotted me. Allow me. Okay, we can deploy outside of that. We know this group is going to be good. All right, we should try this group. We need to try both of them. Step on the long road. I wield this lance for the okay, people how do you do of against them? 309 179. Until my dying breath. I wield this lance for the people of Cornea. I shall see it done. I wield this lance for the people. Okay. I've done all I can. Another step on the law. I shall see it done. I advance. Not gonna push them too far forward. Um, let's see. If we brought out this group, they could help heal with assists. Or we could do this one. Yeah, let, let's do this one. By the grace okay, of the let's holy see. Unit, How good is this group doing anything. against these units? Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Good. Guide me, O oh Father. I'm withdrawing for now. By the grace of the Holy Unit, did you need me? I advance. What would you ask of me? Until my dying breath. Your decree made me. I wield this lance for the people of Corn. I have reached my destination. Okay, that invisible one? Yep, there he is. I refuse to yield. I stake my honor on Our success is inevitable. Let's get up. This will be fun. That is a cool ability. Grant them suckers. A temporary fix. Man, you can't do anything to Hodrick. Sorry, guys. Clouds above. I'll gather my magic. <laughs> Good job, team. I shall see it until my dying breath. For the people of Feverith. Gotta do it. Not gonna miss. <laughs> Just relax. For my people. Hey, not bad. I seize this victory as my own. Your decree made manifest. I shall see it done. I advance. How shall I proceed? I wield this lance for the people. Your decree made manifest. A perilous foe. No. I can do it. Oh, no. A perilous foe. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> okay. That's really bad. Three sixty-five. All right. What if we put? There we go. Okay. Putting a dodge tank in the front seems to make a difference. <laughs> All right, we just have to find that perfect spot, huh? Uh, surviving is more important than anything else here. 130. 
Well, it is what it is. I'll take surviving over. Yeah, I was not prepared for these get for this unit. <laughs> Ooh, volcano. I wonder if that's gonna be uh, uh, Alex level thirty ability. Okay, good damage. Glad you got that out. I'm unstoppable. Is my charge fulfilled? I'm prepared for anything. Departing. I have reached my destiny. Until my dying breath. I advance. I refuse to yield. Okay, is that gonna be enough Temper valor? In the cruel flames of war. Okay, it is. Um, we're gonna need some magic out here. You're, you've got quite a few options against armored. Magic, we've got Keitra, and we've got Virginia. Ninety-one's good enough. A test for my magic. Ready. It'll be done. Quickly now! I fear for my life. Damn. I didn't even realize that guy was there either. Problematic, to say the least. That's not terrible. Let's see. Um, I think the thieves do have some ranged abilities that can hit the back line, so it is possible that this 69 is killing somebody in the back line. We're just gonna have to risk it, I think. Yeah, that's not making any difference, so. Went down. Guide me, oh father. I've done all I can. I'm prepared for. Is that all? Let's you meet me? them together. Departing. Okay, you did not get hit. Good. The day will be ours. The time is at hand. The path is set. What should I do now? Simply say the word. Don't worry. Let's see what you're capable of. <laughs> I think I've gotten a little better at this. It'll be done. Your villainy ends here. We must claim victory. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I have to rest. Now she might get hit by catapult. I'm prepared for anything. Your fate is sealed. How do I overcome these odds? You face me. Another step forth. Okay, you learn Spinning Edge, attack a row of enemies, ignores 50% of target's defense, and plus one PP if the target is defeated. Well okay, so he's level 30 now. Okay, Spinning Edge, if there's a row with two plus combatants.
otherwise cavalry. And then lean edge. I think that's okay. It's simple. It's funny how simple his setup is compared to most people's. <laughs> yeah, he's very effective still. To me, there is time yet to claim victory. Come then. Let's see what you're capable of. Your villainy ends here. grows ever closer come then you have my aid with me as the wind ah look at us husband and wife fighting together side by side freaking guaranteed critical on aoe is so good Protecting your, protecting your girl. That must have hurt. And it's reciprocated. Oh, I love it. I love it. He protects her. She heals him. You love to see it. We march on. In service of the crown. Okay. Oh, no ability for soldier. Okay. For the liberation. Stay on your guards. Guide me, oh father. You know what? We let him take it. We let him take it. I'm not going to use the item. Your orders? I rise to any challenge. Face your demise. Okay, can we reduce this? First off, okay, so 267, if we turn off Dragoon Dive, it may make a huge difference. Yeah. Because you can't evade. 128. Two twenty seven. One oh one. Let me. I'm coming for you. This is it. Ready for action. That sucks. He really okay. wasn't the one I was expecting to go down. <laughs> I'll help. Damn, 138 on one hit there, huh? You were little that crit hurts. Your orders? Even with him lost, you should be able to finish well. this. The time is at hand. Here I am. Oh, how the ready. Whoops. I'm on my way. What magic should I grace you with? Damn, that's very effective. You love to see it. None of you will die here. My magic is not on my way. Looks like we're done for. Take strength! 
I hope I wasn't supposed to bring Nina. It seems like the conversation happened before, but... If he dies, we may reload and try this again, just simply because there may be a way to make him survive if um, we bring Nina. She's underleveled, but we can hide her in a decent unit, so... One of the many benefits of old age. Oh no, I didn't want that to happen. Your fate is sealed. You face me. Because I wanted to Let's finish. See what you're capable of. I wanted to finish killing the guy down south. Oh well. Uh, just a little bit of experience lost. Um, also, we could have gotten the experience bonus from Elaine's thing, but damn, that sucks. It's okay though. Um, let's see, 28 and 29, Your ends here. you all hit 30, Your so yeah, you guys need sealed. it more. Get your experience. Make ready! I'm here to help. <laughs> Be at peace. I'll not let youth outstrip me. Nothing stops me Alright, I think Petra has that experience gem on her, and she is, like, getting level ups like crazy. <laughs> We need to move that to uh, one of our lower level people. We'll just keep trading that around. As I thought. Um, but yeah, we like the rock rats, so if this guy dies or something, we may try and bring Nina just to see if we can save him. It's possible he's unsavable too, which is, you know, but let's find out. Let's find out. He's alive. Okay. No more running, huh? Do whatever you want to me, but I promise you'll let my men walk. Your Highness. Okay, I think we're okay. I beg you, show mercy to this wayward soul. The rock rats are thieves, there can be no denying that. Yet they've never once taken from the weak or infirm. Recruit? I'm okay, I wasn't expecting a recruitment, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really like this guy, this makes me very happy. Recruit him. How would you feel about lending your might to the liberation? Not interested. Oh, really? Oh, you talk a good talk, I'll give you that. But you're still royal filth, <laughs> and you'll steal from us just like all the rest. So, yeah, no thanks. Captain, please. Elaine is different. When he first fled Palavia, he only had six men to his name. Yet now he stands with an army at his back. An impenetrable wall built one cobble at a time. Much like the rock rats, his highness has faced the same struggles we have and met them head on. People change, Nina. And there's no crueler man than the bottom dweller turned baron. You know, historically accurate right there, huh? They get desperate He's to not cling wrong. to their newfound power. Forget how to trust. Turn on those they once called friends. Power corrupts. Then why not watch over me yourself? If I ever prove unworthy of the crown, you're free to run me through with that spear. Huh. <laughs> I only ask that you fight beside us all the while. It will take all manner of strength and experience to slay Galerius and restore peace to this chaotic land. And the persistence of a rat who can survive such turmoil is a boon I would be foolhardy not to welcome. Fine then. Consider me convinced. But it'll only be me joining you. After everything I've put them through, my men deserve to finally settle down. Get some rest. So Start a family. I feel like I've been waiting the entire game to get, like, another tank like Hodrick. And now we got two in a row with, um... What is it, Bertrand? Is that the bear's name? And Bryce now? Like, I've been waiting for big heavies like this to to join the team for a long time. <laughs> it only took to episode 71. Not to mention that this city will need protection. Very well. I'll grant that request. Wild. Thank you, Your Highness. You've done a great deed this day.
Well, I guess that's that then. I'm yours to command for as long as you want. Bryce has joined the Liberation Army. That makes me very happy. By the way, I'm the captain's right-hand man, or at least I was. The Rock Rats are no more now. We're gonna settle down here, keep the place safe. Just take care of the captain for us. You got, you got it, buddy. I will. No matter how much snow I shovel, there's always gonna be more the next morning. It's an endless cycle of torture, I'll tell you what. Life is slowly beginning to return to our city. I frankly never thought it possible. My niece has even reopened her tavern. Ah, what joys peace can bring. Oh yeah, we have to do more than one for these ones. Okay, let's see how far we can get. Second tier done. I'll tell you, the city's looking better than ever these days. All the credit goes to you and your liberation, though. Okay, and third tier is done as well. Okay. Almost ran out, but we made it. My family's business has been growing really fast thanks to you. Everyone won't stop talking about how grateful they are. Here you go, Bryce. Take your time. Death Relax. pillar? AP minus one, so you'd need two extra action points to even be able to use that. Attack a column of enemies with a piercing strike, inflicts poison, inflicts a death blow versus, versus poison targets. All right, with the right build, that thing could be very good. Obviously, we're going to get the Carnelian and Lapis. Sorceress Blow, 150 on physical and magic. Flick stun. Ooh, you're the only one who can wear that? It's probably worth it. Seems pretty damn good. those until we need them. Come on. 196. We can get to 200. Nobody gets past me. Stop by my niece's tavern sometime, would you? The food there is simply to die for. My whole family won't stop talking about how kind and generous you are. We're all with you every step of the way. I wasn't sure what would become of us when the Rock Rats came along, but it turns out they're actually pretty nice. I suppose you never can judge a book by its cover. Our city was besieged by bandits not long ago. They were driven off by the valiant Rock Rats. I don't know what we would do without their continued protection. Think I can finally get back to work now that you've gone and fixed the city up? Okay. Okay, character lists. Let's see here. Um, Carnelian should go to either El Talinda or Rosalinda so that we can get that extra action point and maybe try and use that ability. Your tactics seem a little bit more stacked than El Talinda's, so maybe we'll try and give it to you. So Charm of Sun and Moon, Magic Attack, okay. We can give that to somebody else. So you can take the Carnelian. Is 
such a strange ability. It costs so much, but it also requires, like, to get its most potency to have fairies. Which, if it costs all of your AP to use, then Boon of the Fairies is the only one that we can get, which means that we can only ever have plus one. So Boon of the Fairies with Elemental Roar. And then she can't do anything else. I don't know how to feel about that. This feels like the sort of thing that will just pop on and off, just to see if it's being effective enough at the time. Let's leave it on for now, that way we can see how it works, but... This one would be a difficult one to build for, especially since I'm not seeing a lot of ways for her to... gain more fairies without having a ton of extra action points. Yeah, this one's difficult. That's interesting. But hey, we'll, we'll try that. Why not? Okay, passive points, huh? So you're at 46 physical attack right now. Surging Short Spear. You'd be losing a lot of attack with that. Shadow Thrust is pretty good. You'd lose less attack with that. Let's try that one on Bryce. Now, great shields. We have quite a few decent great shields, don't we? Aerial guard. Oh yeah, the magic defense one. Let's give him that one. Passives on people who can block like that are never bad. So he can take a Lapis. Guard rate with gauntlets. Okay. Has to be a full column. Plus 50% physical defense and plus 2 passive points. Great shield. Maybe you can use this... So this takes one action point, but then makes him basically just a standing wall tank that has more passive points to guard. Huh. So get some other stuff first. So they're below 50%. Use Sting. So Shadow Thrust on a full column. If there's no full column, then look for somebody with 50% HP or lower for Sting. If that doesn't apply, then Row Protection, but only if you are in a row with multiple people. Otherwise, you can Great Shield. And then throw a Sting at the bottom of that. Yeah, I think so. These are more restrictive. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, row cover, row is attacked. Guardian.
only if you're hurting, because that's on self. Otherwise, you should be heavy covering other people. Instead of prioritizing back row... Prioritize lowest physical defense. That won't always be the most useful option, but... What else do we have that isn't equipped right now? So somebody who can make use of some magic attack bonuses. Um, let's see, we still have the bear's den and wolf packs, which could be very, very useful if somebody had the extra passives to use it for. Hmm. We also have that passive gift. Uh, what was that thing for Alk? It was a thing that only he could equip. What was that? Sorcerer's Gauntlets? Nah, Thunder Strike also costs 2 AP, and it's way more effective, I feel like. Well, you know, like, as a single blow, 150 physical and magic potency is very, very good. <laughs> it is very good. Kind of want to try it. Try that. Oh, we missed you. Due to our advanced age, our head cleric Mother Laylee asked me to offer prayers to the fallen spirits in her stead. You have my deepest thanks, Elaine. The souls of the departed should rest easier now. You are welcome. How did we ever miss that? <laughs> Let's see, 79% on the map. Let's see, were we on the one with this that's supposed to be 75? Let's go and check on the Atlas quest. 
75% done already. Fine work, young man. Let me just copy that over. Okay, eight more uh, honors. That means that we can upgrade another grouping. When I proposed to my wife, I told her I'd be her map forever. It took some convincing, but eventually she agreed. Anyway, we're nearly there. Just one left. 100%, huh? All right, 100% is next. Okay, well, I think with those two, this is now an unkillable unit. <laughs> That unit's too strong. I should I should probably put him somewhere else. Okay, so there's that. Okay, Lyrical Wand. I'll try it. I don't think that's the right group, though. At least try. Allow me. Not scared of you. No tricks. Got some arrows for you. This all work. Got me. All is well. For you. You will burn. With my nice. very life. Don't go dying on me. Alright, we've been keeping their front line stunned, which is really good. Hell yeah. Well done. This should help. Don't go dying on I'd say we're doing pretty good. Got me good. Not even worth my time. Okay. Oh, a Carnelian pendant to this one. Just want to see. Probably not great. I might want to remove her guard. I think it's actually becoming more of a detriment than a help at this point in the game. It was a little bit more useful earlier on. But now it's... Maybe just a... Yeah, bad call. She just obliterated that front line. Cheer up. Elaine is a god in this game. He's so I good. Uh, that must have hurt. You're mine. Ha! Can you keep 
Mm, completely obliterated. You love to see it. You know, we're getting some decent gold from this, too. Okay, the Eliminator. That sounds good. <laughs> Guards up! My magic is yours. Take this! Crush him good! Dodge tanks, that's helpful. We're still getting heals in, so I think we've got this. It was looking a little dicey at the start, but we brought it back. Prim MVP. Hunting Brothers. Strikes. I grow more. <laughs> so hurt. Let me see what you got. You're safe with me. The guaranteed hit helps. Oh my god, that made a huge difference. You. Well done, Unifi. I'm glad that she had the passive yeah. point to activate that. Facing me was your first mistake. Huge. That changed the game. Okay, got a thief's mantle from that. Armored gauntlets. Okay, what's the level on these guys? Yeah, they're getting up there. 34. Okay, some heavy attackers in this group. Will not fail! God, dude. Pair that with that critical damage. Oh my gosh, the pairing of Chloe and him. Make your peace. Healing you. This is for you. Stead. Okay, frozen battle axe. Forward. You've got this. Spirits on the way. Don't stop now. That must have hurt. That, that spinning attack for him is godlike. Oh wow! I need your strength. Unexpected. Oh, it's, it's going south. Well, it was going well. Wow. I can't believe that. That's crazy. 
That went south so fast. I thought we had it. Thought we had it. Okay. Um, let's try it with uh, Ren's group. See how they do. At least try. For you. The attack down should be good. The initiative down should also help us too. Get a really good head start. If she gets that attack off. That should help as well. Not. The flares can get to Are our back okay? line. That's what I'm most worried about. The most. Oh my gosh. Bastard's cross hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah, these guys are some heavy attackers. Come on, Unifi. Get that thing off. Still going. That was close, man. That one was really close. Almost didn't win that. Okay. Sapphire pend a sapphire pend. Is that one like the next step of the lapis? Is that one gonna give us two? Ooh, I want that. My guess is this is gonna be a tough one. Let's see, do you have your sandstorm on? I'm not feeling great about this one if I'm being honest. I don't I don't think this matchup is very good. <laughs> In okay. is this not going down easy. Yeah, that wasn't going to go anywhere well. I mean, let's try it with this group. Healing you. You're mine. With me. Take this. Ooh, baby. Set loose. That was not a true strike, is it? Did we just get lucky? I guess it hits multiple times, so maybe we just got through it on that, um, on that thief. That must have hurt. Okay, there we go. That'll help. Healing you. We are hitting our back line pretty hard, but we're keeping up on the. We were keeping up on the hills. Never mind. We're. But <laughs> there we go. That'll. <laughs> This is I'll the biggest back and forth I've good. ever seen. <laughs> on your foot. Oh, that miss. Oh, come on. Ooh. That one was swinging back and forth the entire time, huh? Okay, that sapphire pendant. I want to know what that does. Okay, we're kind of at time. How close are we getting? Oh, we're so close to her now. We honestly might be able to get there. I think we need to try for it, for sure. Um, okay, but we do need to end the episode, so we're gonna have to look at that in the next one. But before we do that, I definitely wanna see what that pendant does. So, yeah, base PP plus two. So when did we find the next level of the Carnelian, huh? That's awesome. Ooh, I love that, okay, cool. All right, well. Uh, this is where we're going to end this episode, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Dowerty, Timothy Jansen, Skip, Daniel, Yell, Naya, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.